Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how to set up custom screens on your Garmin. Um, so yeah, check it out. Alright, so the first step is to actually turn the Garmin on. It will locate satellites and uh, then it will come to your screen here. So the, what, I'm, what I mean by custom screens is exactly what you're seeing here. So this is my custom screen for my ride. I have the ride time at the top. I have my speed just here distance there, time of the day down there, and my cadence down in the bottom right there. So if I hit the page menu button down here, you'll see it changes to another custom screen. So I've got lap speed there, current time there, sorry, current lap there, lap distance and laps. My next screen is temperature, grade, so that's a grade of uh, elevation, distance, uh, speed, and time. A lot of these are repeated, I haven't really set these up, I usually just use the main screen. That's purely just speed. Uh, that's cadence and average cadence. So I use that sometimes. Um, and yeah, so the way you set these up is what you want to do is hold down this page and menu button, the bottom left button here. Hold that down. You'll get to your menu. So you use these are the up and down arrows here. So you go down to settings, press enter. Then you go to bike settings. Then you would go to data fields. So this is the enter button down there, bottom left. So here are the pages. So the first page is, as you can see, um, the one that I start with. So you can select how many data fields you want. So you, six splits the screen up, five is what I had that on, four. So you can set that up as many as you want on there. Oh, I think there is a limit, but yeah. So for me, that's five. And then it'll tell you there, use the up and down and enter keys to change the data fields. Press back when done. So what do we want up here? So we highlight, let's just say we want to change where the speed is here to something else. So we highlight that by pressing the down arrow, press enter, and we pick whatever whatever we want there. So let's just say we want the temperature there instead. Then there it is. And then you just press the back button, which is the top left button up here. I'll just put that back to what it was on though for me. Speed. And yeah, as I said, press the back button once you're done editing. And anyway, you can turn the pages on or off and you have all these pages. I think it's five pages. Yeah, so you can have five pages. You can turn them on. You can have them off. You can have whatever you want on each of those pages. Um, yeah, that's about it. Hope that helped. Hope that was nice and easy. And I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.